How often is it when we see a wrestler taking out his frustration on a poor referee? It happens quite frequently, but you know what's rare? Referees fighting back against wrestlers. Stay tuned till the very end to find out the one brave referee that had the guts to go one-on-one -on -one against CM Punk. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Number 5. Mike Chioda Mike Chioda was a referee who started his career back in the late 80s. Initially, he was just a regular referee taking part in regular matches. However, with time, he went on to become one of the best referees in the game. His success kicked off after he took part in some of the memorable matches of all time. For example, the WrestleMania 14 main event between Steve Austin and Shawn Michaels. Yes, this was the guy who was the official referee of this match. In 2002, he became a head referee and was also the official referee in the Icon vs. Icon match between Hollywood Hogan and The Rock. In his career spanning over 30 years, he had been part of matches like Batista vs. Triple H which took place at WrestleMania 21 and Cena vs. Batista at SummerSlam 2008. However, there was this one time when Mike was just not there enjoying the fight, but he took part in it. It was a tag team match where Kyoto teamed up with The Rock and Chris Jericho to fight against the Dudley Boys and another referee called Nick Patrick. Ultimately, this was just a feud between the two referees. The most hilarious part of this match came towards the end, when Kyoto performed the infamous People's Elbow on Patrick, pinning him for the victory. Number 4. Charles Robinson Charles Robinson is a referee who is known more for his notorious nature. He first became relevant when he kept helping Ric Flair and the Four Horsemen to win matches by any means. He's the same referee who The Undertaker greeted with a tombstone pile driver in 2006. Charles is such an unlucky guy, he was once put in a match against the Great Khali where, as you might have guessed, he was squashed badly, but at least he dared to take the fight. But hey, it's not just that he's only part of epic beatings. Robinson is also part of legendary matches like Shawn Michaels vs. Ric Flair, in which Ric had to retire. Number 3. Jim Corderas Jim Corderas is another epic referee. He has been the official referee of several high-profile matches in pay-per-views like WrestleMania. Apart from being a good referee, he had also been part of some storylines that involved him getting beaten. One of them was the match between the Honky Tonk Man against Brutus Beefcake at WrestleMania 4, where he was literally knocked out by a huge megaphone. Another occasion was during a segment in 1999 where WWE created a storyline that showed referees going on a strike because they felt unsafe during the matches. Kinda makes sense because the Attitude Era was full of wrestlers squashing referees for no reason. Anyways, in that segment, the only referee that didn't join the fight and continued to be a regular referee <coughs> scab, was Jim. In the main event, where he was performing a pin, he was dragged out of the ring by other co-workers and a brawl started where Jim was beating anyone who came his way to defend himself. In the end, when all the referees teamed up to thrash Jim, Stone Cold Steve Austin came to the rescue and our poor Jim was spared. Number 2. Scott Armstrong Wrestler against referee matches is very, very rare in WWE. I mean, we only get to see such matches maybe once in a decade. Well, good thing, or else they wouldn't be as special as they are. We got to see one of these classics back in 2009 when CM Punk was granted a match against Scott. Why do you think someone like Punk would want a match with a referee? To begin with, Scott was in two matches between Punk and Undertaker. He was an ally of CM Punk who was supposed to help him win the matches by using underhanded methods, but he ultimately failed, which enraged the best in the world. Punk would go on against Scott Armstrong in a match that only lasted a few minutes. Even though Scott tried his best to fight, 
he could only land a few punches, and apart from that, it was pure domination by Punk. He just squashed the poor guy. This is not the only time when Scott got all fired up. During a match between Triple H and Punk, R-Truth and The Miz interrupted and beat the ones having the match for no reason. Well, it was part of a gimmick they were having where they mindlessly did anything they wanted to do. However, Scott was not having any of their lame interruptions, so he punched The Miz right on the face. Too bad R-Truth took him down afterward, but it still shows how brave of a person Scott is. Before we move forward, just a couple of honorable mentions. One would be Jack Dawn, who caught Test trying to win by illegal means and standing up to him. He even pushed Test, making the statement that Dawn isn't scared of anyone. Another would be Rod Zapato, who was so mad after Sheamus and Cesaro tried to corner him that he went physical. He would push both the wrestlers and just rain a ton of lectures onto them. Wild. The moment you've all been waiting for. The most shocking moment ever. And if you've made it this far, be sure to like and subscribe to be entered into our monthly shout out giveaway. Then comment below, I subbed. Without further ado, let's get to the most important part. Number 1. Earl Hebner. Admit it, all of you were waiting to see when Hebner made his appearance on this list. Well, it'd be a crime if I didn't put him at number 1. Hebner is regarded as one of the best referees of all time and is pretty much known by most WWE fans. He had been part of some of the most controversial matches in history. It was he who the Million Dollar Man paid so that he could screw Hogan in the Hogan vs. Andre controversy. And well, if you didn't know, he was the official referee during the Montreal Screwjob back in 1997. These events were already enough for making him one of the most notorious referees of all time. He was the face of referees. Not only did he lead all the other referees during the 99 Strike storyline, but he was also the one who represented WWF's team during the invasion angle. Hebner, despite not being a wrestler, took part in many matches, especially during the invasion storyline. However, one of the most famous incidents was during a tag team match between Triple H's team against The Rocks. When Shane McMahon tried to interfere, Hebner would literally push him out of the ring. When Triple H tried pushing him, he pushed him back too. Just appreciate the guts of this man. This was not even the only time Triple H faced humiliation from Hebner. In 2000, Triple H and his partners were trying to bully Hebner, but, well, he was not taking any of that. When Triple H tried getting physical, he would not just get pushed and kicked out of the ring by Hebner. All this, followed by a legendary DX chop from him, made the day for all the fans out there. Easily the most ruthless and entertaining referee of his era. Be sure to watch wrestlers who attempted murder in the ring, and I will see you in the next video.